Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family-friendly gaming with Soap the Great. I am back on the Hypermind Vanilla server, hanging out in the Hypertropolis downtown. We're over by the town hall. Today we are going to be getting set up for a couple of new projects, and they're going to be long-running projects. And my intent here is to uh, be able to switch between house stuff and then these two and kind of bounce around a little bit so that you guys don't get bored of what I might be working on and I also don't get bored and continue to have the inspiration for those projects. So um, the first one is a skyscraper idea that I had for the commercial district here. And so what I've been doing is I've been scouting out potential areas for where to put this thing. And so um, I did think about right here, but I'm not sure where the town hall landscaping ends and where potential new development can go. Also, it looks like there's a tree farm back there. Let's take a look. You see how those are evenly spaced? That looks like somebody is intentionally planting those, and I just don't know. So uh, over here we've got Woolly Corp headquarters, and uh, there is... There's a, another spot for a uh, circle there, and I think Wooly's going to eventually come back and work on that. So I didn't have to, I had to look around a little bit. I want this thing to be fairly close. My goal here is um, a high rise that's going to have office offices in it. So uh, we want to be fairly close to the main part of the commercial district, not like the residential commercial district and so we've got some apartments back there I'm not entirely sure what one wolf has in here this may not even be his front door Four dragons wolf designs incorporated I don't know what he's got planned but um, so I did have a chat with him though because I found a nice little spot over here okay so uh, we are behind Dolan's place right there I know it's a pig and uh, also where Kondrick and I are going to be working on a high-rise as well so um, I chatted with Wolf and he said let's have a little bit of a space between us we want to have some buffer space and uh, the tree line is pretty good I'm gonna set down this bed a little closer to maybe right there and we can't sleep at night. So what I'm going to have to do is a little bit of prep work here. We need a space that is roughly 31 by 31. So I'm going to have to cut down some trees, dig some stuff out, and I'm going to get the um, the overall foundation kind of laid out. Not uh, not complete, but we are going to get that laid out and get things started. And uh, so when we come back, we should have some stuff dug out. All right. So I'll see you in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a little bit of a progress update. You can see that I have extended the road, and it goes that way some, and we can continue that for a little bit longer. But you can also see that I've cleared out some of the forest, and we've got this square in the ground. And let's see, where's our other road going to be coming in? Uh, this plot right here is where Kondrick and I are going to be doing a project but uh, but yeah so I've got this area dug out I took all of the dirt out just to you know mimic the the process of building a skyscraper a little bit you don't build right on dirt that would just be terrible design practices because dirt shifts easily so you want to make sure that you take your foundation down to stone and that's what we've done here it also gives me a little bit of a place to set up with uh, relative safety uh, amongst all the unlit areas that are around here. So, uh, and nighttime is almost upon us. We are currently on the server with Mrs. Lapis Lori. And uh, what we're going to be doing now is, so uh, I've got some stuff in my inventory. We'll stay close to, to my bed here. What we want to do is get a little bit of an auto furnace job going because we are going to be needing some items here in the future not uh, not not right now okay so again we're setting up for 
an upcoming project, okay? Not, not something that is going to be happening today necessarily. And I will take care of this. There we go. Yeah, so what we want to do is that the various projects that we're going to have here, we still want to be generating the items for the rest of the build. And so we've got nether brick and glass that we need to be smelting up. And so what we want to do is get a little bit of a um, an auto furnace array thing going here. And we're going to just come out on a few sides from this chest like so. And we'll go out a little bit like this. Okay, so this is going to be our output chest. A little bit of a silo. Not uh, not quite what you might be used to, but um, what we're going to do is have an array of these, um, these furnaces dedicated to coal production or charcoal production. Okay, and then a couple others. One for glass, one for the... Um, Another brick. Is that going to... Oh, it's not going to be enough. Okay. I need... You know what? Um, we can bring in a hopper a little later for that. Actually, I should have all of what I need for those. So, let's just put some chests on here like so. And that way we can get the, uh, the smelting job going. We're going to get this one. Uh, you can't see the furnaces. We're just going to chuck a bunch of wood in there and smelt all that up into charcoal. And then these other two, one's going to be for glass and one is going to be for uh, another brick. Okay. So let's see what we need. And we've got, there's a cave somewhere around here. I don't I don't know quite where. It's it's really close, and it's kind of annoying, but uh, you, you just got to deal with it, I guess. Um, so we've got spiders and and what are they? Skeletons and now zombies hanging out, doing their thing. And uh, what we want to do? Just throw that in there. And now I can't get to it. Um, we'll just do this. Ah! The glitching that's supposed to be fixed in 1.9. It's part of the reason why item elevators are not going to be working. But uh, what we need to do now is we can put some of that charcoal into there. There we go. All right, so we've got got the auto furnace array going. I'm going to put my materials away here. And then the junk is just going to go right there. And now it is time to move on to the next next project preparation, okay? So we've got a pretty good start here, but we're not going to be finishing this by any stretch of the imagination today. No, we've got a little start, and uh, we'll come back at a future point, and we'll be laying all of that out. This isn't the final... Uh, final footprint either. It's going to be within the walls, so we'll have to do some landscaping and, and whatnot, and we might come back with some... Well, I don't know. Well, we might have a place for people to park their cars. You know, you never know. I don't... We'll, we'll see how it goes, but uh, yeah, we're, we're going to have a little high-rise there. And uh, just as a note for those of you that might be wondering, where's, where's Kondrick? Why aren't you starting on the high-rise project over there? Well, that is because Kondrick is currently in the midst of a PC rebuild. Okay, so he's he's got that going, and he is going to be uh, a little bit busy with getting that set up. It does take some time. Once you do a rebuild, you have to get all your applications set back up, and he's got to get back in the swing of things in terms of recording and whatnot. So, uh, so he's got a little bit, and don't worry, we will get to... Oh, that was a nice shot. We'll get to working on that project later. So we got plenty of stuff to do. What I'm going to do is head back to my home. Am I going in the right direction? Yeah. Um, I'm going to head back to my home, grab some materials, and we're going to go to our next project location. All right? See you over there. You know, one thing I forgot when I came over here was to bring an actual chest. So thankfully... The previous occupant 
left some trees. But where are we? We are out in the middle of nowhere. I, you know, I don't even know. We'll, we'll take a sneaky screenshot and there's probably a little flicker on the video at that point. But uh, yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere. Um, except there's a little something over there. Yeah, what do you think that is? Ah, uh, hmm. If you guessed Ocean Monument, you'd be correct. And uh, before you fret, we're we're not going to be doing like we did on Too Crafty. No, I'm not going to be bringing you along for every bit of it, but we are going to be doing bits and pieces of this um, together. Okay, so Kondrick and I have been in contact with Joe the Pirate. Joe the Pirate is the one that... Oh, no, Slapis Lori. Yes, okay. Thank you. Um... Joe the Pirate went and put the wall all the way around this thing, and he cleared out the Elder Guardians. And so uh, so what we've got here is an ocean monument that is pretty well taken care of already. Okay, so uh, what that means is that all we have to do is pretty much turn it into the um, Guardian Farm. Okay, and the reason we're going to be doing that is because the existing Guardian Farm, the um, one over near spawn is broken and its primary purpose is for um, XP okay and so what we're thinking is uh, what we'll do is a, a drops only okay that's that's uh, that's what we're going to be focusing on so let's place that there and we can get rid of some of this right here like so okay we are going to need the water breathing potions in just a moment but uh, I'm not, not going to do that on camera we need to conserve our time a little bit so if we take a look here I did bring along some redstone and if we'll take a look okay thankfully that's there we are going to need beacons and Dispensers. What are you doing with the bunch of dispensers there? And that's not even half of them. Let me show you a statistic real quick. Let's just bring this up. We'll go to blocks and times crafted. Take a look at that number right there. 2893 dispensers. It's probably more than we need, but um, this is a two-part project for the dispensers. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we're not going to be doing the sponge uh, sponge and sand thing okay I've I've done that before it's it's not fun and it wasn't for a guardian farm it was for the perimeter for my squid farm on my single-player world um, and that's not fun I'll tell you that but um, we're going to be bringing in uh, an array of dispensers up top and we can pull down hostile creatures a bit here we're going to do an array of dispensers up there somewhere with lava in them, and we're going to clear it out that way. So uh, that's coming up. It's not today, no. And we'll have some beacons on the side here with haste two. We'll have some efficiency five picks taking care of all of that. But uh, that is the plan for the ocean monument. What we want to do now is get that array of dispensers set up. So I'm going to take care of that off camera. In the meantime, Nimson had wanted to get together to talk about the Nether Hub. So there might be a clip from that. I'm not sure. Um, both his schedule and my schedule and Kondrick's schedule, or rather all three of ours, um, it's kind of kind of haphazard at the moment. So, uh, so we'll just have to um, see how that goes. But uh, if there is a little clip with Nimson, Hopefully you enjoy, but otherwise when we come back, we should have the array of dispensers in place up there. All right, see you in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And you can hear, I've turned up the music a little bit. I kind of miss the music. For a long time, I just never played with it. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of nice. Anyway, we've got some work done, and I need to show you what's going on there. You can hear those guys just going nuts under, under there. Let's turn down the hostile creature sounds a bit because that's going to be annoying. Anyway, so I've got a beacon here and you can see one over there. And if you look, we are now in range. We've got haste two. 
And I'm not sure if I fully explained myself. What we're going to be doing here is uh, we're, we've we got haste 2 and I've got an efficiency 5. Yeah, that's an efficiency 5 pick. And uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, just digging out stone. Okay, so, uh, you know, I'm going to take care of most of this. But let me just show you kind of what the plan is. I don't know if I explained it properly in our in our last time, but you can see with the haste 2, we kind of just uh, just melt right through this stone. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, we're going to take down this stone and I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing this and then when we come back we can see how the the overall system works. But, you know, we've got a a set of dispensers here. And I am joined on the server by Wreckabilly, so he just did the uh, one night sleep thing. But we've got some dispensers here with lava buckets. And uh, when we've taken out an entire layer, we're going to be just running that those uh, dispensers. And, um, and that should, should give us an easy way of clearing out this whole area. It is going to take some time. We're not going to do all of this this episode I just want to show you one little bit of how this thing works now well those things jump that's amazing um, so I did not get a chance to get up with Nimson for this episode so just uh, just a heads up in the future we will be seeing that and uh, I think it's it's gonna be uh, by the time Kondrat gets his BC set up we should be able to meet with Nimson together, so it would have just been me, but uh, Kondrick is almost back in the swing of things for recording. So anyway, uh, again, I wanted to make sure that I told you how this was all working. I don't know that I fully explained it. Oh, I'm going to get hit. Yeah, so that is gonna that's going to be a bit of a problem, but uh, let's go take a look at some of the other progress real quick, and I'll come back and finish that, and uh, then we'll see how that all works. So over here I've already done the some uh, some materials moving, okay? And I've got a bunch of trees going and you might notice that we've got an auto furnace setup going. Okay? So this side is going to be the charcoal creation side. This side's going to be smelting up glass. And uh, then you've also got the start of some of the fence gates that we need. Nothing there, nothing. Oh, lava buckets. Don't know why we need those, but uh, some other random supplies, bunch of dispensers, and some other stuff. So, anyway, I did bring some of that stuff over, and uh, we've still got some materials collection to do, but let me finish getting rid of that one layer up there, and then we'll come back and take a look at how the dispensers work. All right, see you in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and I've got that entire area just knocked out. So we got somewhere on the order of 3,600 pieces of cobble down on the ocean floor, but that doesn't matter. And uh, let's see what our entity count is. Oh, yeah, we're it might be less than that because of the, the five-minute timer. But anyway, let's uh, take a look at this, this uh, system, okay? So we'll just hit this button. You can see that we should get some lava out of every dispenser okay and then you hear the noise of all of those, those uh, things what is that that's gonna be blocks maybe yeah let's do that and so we should get it completely covered and we'll just wait for right there that's not gonna do it okay so we might need a couple more dispensers maybe one right here yeah one yeah, one along here. So I'll take care of that off camera. But you can see the, the issue we're having. We've got a couple of spots there that aren't covered by lava. So we'll take care of that. And uh, let's see, how about out here? Yes, this is bordering on uh, dangerous here. Because if I get knocked off, we're going to have a problem. That should... Should be covered. Yeah, okay. So that's covered back there. The only thing is up here at the front. So I will take care of that. Throw in some more dispensers and it's a good thing. I do have that extra lava. So there we go. See, testing is always good. All right, before you really get into it. 
Oh, and I'm I'm almost out of food. But uh, anyway, that is uh, that is how this whole thing is going to go. So we'll turn that off, and we'll let the whole thing just kind of kind of stop. Because uh, I did I did happen to jump in there a while ago and or jump out of the area, and it caused one of the dispensers to not update correctly. So there we go. Looks like everything's off. And, uh, and we're good. So I am going to go back and get some more uh, more resources. Let me show you how I'm doing that, okay? So uh, it's kind of a long walk, and I really don't like having to go back and forth and back and forth. You can see the haste 2 just stopped. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to chuck all my stuff into here, and, uh, and then we'll get back to where my last spawn point is. I've been careful not to sleep. It's one of the reasons why I'm so excited that Wreckability has been doing that. And then what we do, you ready? We'll just go, boop, there we go. And we're back at home, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna grab some more resources. Hopefully you have enjoyed this particular installment of Family Friendly Gaming. Um, yeah, <laughs> long, long distance travel, there we go. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed this installment and hopefully it makes sense that we're getting some big projects um, going. Okay, so we've got the project in com the commercial district getting started up. We've got the thing, the Guardian Farm with Kondrick started up and we're still working on the house here, but I'm not going to go downstairs and spoil that for you. But, uh, but yeah, there we go. Um, let me know what you think of the projects in the comments section below or catch me on Twitter at MCSoapTheGreat. And again, you should catch me there because sometimes I tweet out screenshots of things I'm working on. But that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.